I always think of self-care as shared care. And that's the message we tried to get over in the e-learning program. It's about encouraging doctors to engage in, and nurses to engage in that shared care consultation. Because if you get patients to understand um, the reasons for uh, their attendance and then what they can do in the future to modify their health-seeking behaviour, we've had a real success. It's accessible free on the RCGP website and you have to register, um, so any doctor or nurse, in fact, anyone who can go through the registration process, so it would be available to patients if they, uh, if they wish to go through that process, um, through registering um, their, their details, and uh, you can go through the program. It lasts about two hours to go through it, and it actually really takes you through various scenarios and how you can engage patients better in that um, in, in that, that shared care consultation. What we've aimed to try and do through writing this module is instill confidence in GPs uh, to give them the right tools to build self-care awareness into consultations. I've learned a huge amount. I think of myself, as many GPs do, as being patient-centred, but when I actually started writing the module, I realised there's a big difference between being patient-centred and having the confidence and the skills to use the tools to encourage patients to self-care. I think the second thing I gained a great deal from was working with people like the um, PPG at the college the vast amount of information that they had and how much we could learn from one another about our expectations, just about the, the meanings of words and the meanings of the things that we do. And I think that what, I hope that what we achieved by working with a large group of people was sort of greater than the sum of our parts. We've worked very hard to get to this stage. It's something we've wanted to do for a long time and uh, we're very grateful to NHS North West for funding this initiative. Without that funding, this wouldn't have happened. We have to educate our professionals. This is about behaviour change in professional groups, a little bit of letting go um, when it's safe to do so, as well as educating uh, patients and public. But this was just a huge opportunity um, to really hit a mass number of um, professionals, GPs, practice nurses, practice managers, with one programme going out simultaneously on a great day like today. This is our launch day today and it's immediately available. Well, I work very closely with both GPs in my own practices, but uh, as a lead with uh, other practices within Southwark. And I've already raised this with them, that I think this is massively important. And the feedback that I'm getting is that this is what we want. What we've felt nervous of before is we feel very much on our own in saying to a patient what they might do for themselves. Am I at risk that uh, if something goes wrong, am I liable? So this is, is enormously empowering. It's very simple to access. And I'm having my hand bitten off uh, by colleagues who say, yes, that's great. And of course, what I can facilitate in our own practice is making the time available to them. I'm actually a council member of the Royal College of GPs, so in a sense I've got a vested interest in encouraging dissemination of what I think is a really excellent learning tool. So yes, both Simon and I will be taking it forward in our own practices, but also with the uh, wider GP and primary care community, because I think there's really good value there, not just for healthcare professionals, but vitally for patients and the public. We obviously need to encourage all GPs to think about self-care and those who wish to do the online learning course, um, that's very appropriate for them. But actually it's about much more raising awareness and legitimising people taking self-care seriously in their consultations and in their professional lives. So it's about permissions, it's about education and then hopefully they will find things like the online resource useful.